Okay. Perhaps something here could work. I'm wondering if... Um, I don't type for her right now. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go s get a good spot. Good spot for what? Wait, I don't remember this happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. Hmm. Okay, what is the announcement? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Okay. <laughs> As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy. Oh god. <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring to another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon. Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Then you're in... L Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? <laughs> I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No? Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? <laughs> so confused. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon, is it actually as big as Africa? Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> and last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. We all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. <laughs> so, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. <laughs> Remember, flying cards, money, brunettes. Well, what'd you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Mm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna s go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. I'm gonna put my money on no. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as... Well, yeah, I'm thinking like he could have not had any uh, motivation to go to the moon and like Rivers last words or something like that could, you know, push him to go to the moon at the end. And then he wants to do it. It doesn't have to be something that he's done his whole life or even thought about. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for... <laughs> but can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can! Oh my god. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we re... Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? 
It's true for both you and your spouse. <laughs> what in the world? Free Pony Riot's own space! Oh look, a wedding! Good for you! Well, here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon. Honeymoon. Get it? <laughs> oh god. River? <laughs> that never glass slippery. Johnny! John! John! Yeah, why don't you just do that? What the cucumber? Phew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? <laughs> Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Hmm... Okay. So we're back in the present. I think. I'm still trying to figure out the whole... Uh... It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's re registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Oh, were we just trying to... His new desire, we're trying to put it back in the past? Okay. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then, would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time? There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it was something to do with River. She had a big impact on it, but... Ah, uh, sun's rising. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out, too. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Okay, Neil? H how'd you do? Dr. Watts? Hope you had better luck than I did. Ah, uh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. For a river, okay. That's still the same. Just just wanna make sure. Just wanna make sure there's, you know, that didn't change. And clock is still stopped. Okay. I just want to make sure. Where's Neil? Hmm. Neil is in the nice, nice bathroom. What? Okay, what if I talk to you? How's John doing? Barely hang on. What are you two doing? We just, we just couldn't make any progress. You better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Oh. What is he doing in the kitchen? Why am I going this way? Hmm. 
Getting some breakfast? Food? Hmm. Uh, kitchen was here. Yep. Now, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where'd you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with the headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh. Wait, isn't this... Where'd you find it? In the lighthouse, before we started. Now, for the last time, shh. Right, that part we can do. Last paper rabbit river gave to John. Hmm. What if we unfold the paper rabbit? Will we have a note in there? What if... Okay, I suppose so. Okay, so that's all you got. Oops. I always forget to do that, I'm sorry. Okay, much better. So, let's see, let's turn that on. Hmm. Can we go inside the lighthouse? Or... What if she goes down here and in here. A rabbit fell out of paper. Broken music box. I thought maybe if she saw this, she would have a thought about this as well. All the rabbits that she's ever, have ever made were one tone. That was the only two tone rabbit. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Okay. Let's go back real quick. Here's gonna be... yeah. That's gonna be just the rabbit. Is this anything? No, it's not. Okay. This thing's tall. Okay, so I guess that's all we have here. Well, let's let's go up. Doctor Watts might follow us up there. And what did he find out? Yeah, okay, we already spoke with him. So I guess maybe I'm supposed to go to the lighthouse. Because he hinted and he found it there. I presume she's curious to know what was there. Hmm. Although getting to the lighthouse is, is pretty far. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so now. So we're not going to the lighthouse. We spoke with Neil. I haven't been to every single room. I mean, that's true. Well, let me let me go back here and see if there's anything has changed. Um, now that she knows that that's where it came from, no. Okay. Hmm. All very interesting. I'm trying to wrap my head around. There's something that we weren't told about him. But we don't know what it is. And what impact could it have? Oh. Oh. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Hmm. Can we talk with you? Where are you going? Where are you going? I really should have watched those two last night. They were up late. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I suppose. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Yeah. 
You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. How'd you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. Help me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help get them back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down he really wanted a family. So where are you going to tell them about John? I I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. It's your uh, full-time job, isn't it? What will we do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny on this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Okay. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Oh, and we're failing him. Way to make me feel bad, game. Holy shit. Ah. Uh. Oh, what? what? I'm not controlling that. Okay, I guess we're going up. What? I didn't... What? I want to go to... Yeah, I want to go to him. Oh, I guess I, maybe I went too far. No. Oh, the stairs are automatic, so... I just went too far. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. It was me. Okay. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers? Giant didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder, if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with, and such a large amount, its impact on his memories is, at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. <laughs> so what now? I was just given the recon reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in this childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Ah, of course, there's always one last thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridge, in accessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. What will we do now? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. Crap. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. Ugh. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Uh, 
Going out to the lighthouse to get some fresh air? Ahem. Forgot my coffee. Uh, okay, so if we can do that. Okay, I'll try it one more time. I want to see if I can grab the stuff. Okay. Hey there. Hey. 